November 23rd and 24th was the big CQ Worldwide DX contest, and the CW portions of the HF bands were just awash with Moore's code. This is a perfect opportunity for me to try out my Arduino Copies Morse Code project with live signals from the air. Here's a quick overview of the setup for this experiment. Right here we have our Arduino. It's not really an Arduino, it's a Prototino. It's an Arduino clone that I've put together. This section that you see in this area right here is the Arduino part. There's the microcontroller. Over here are components that I've added to a prototyping section so that I could have a tone decoder. The tone decoder picks up audio from my receiver. It comes in through this cable here. When it hears a tone that matches the one in the internal oscillator, it sends a signal to the Arduino where it can be decoded. I've connected an LCD screen to the project through this ribbon cable. The code will uh, be decoded and the letters will appear over here. And I've added this little red button to make it easy to reset the Arduino when I'm having difficulty getting the code to print correctly on my screen. Let's look at a few samples that I captured while I was tuning the band. This is K0RF. I enter his call into the QRZ website and it tells me that he's located in Longmont, Colorado. Do you see how he sends CQ test over and over again? Ham sends CQ when they're ready to make contact and they're willing to talk to anybody who might answer. If we were on single sideband listening to voice, we'd hear him say, CQ contest, CQ contest, CQ contest. But because this is CW, hams like to shorten things, so the word contest has been reduced to the letters T-E-S-T. Here's another one. This is N5ZC. I looked him up on QRZ.com and found out that he's in Amarillo, Texas. He hears someone we don't hear and sends him back a report. It's KA1RFD in Pittston, Maine. He sends a signal report of 599. The ends are a shortcut for the nines. Then he sends the number 4. The 4 is his CQ zone number. The whole world has been divided up into zones and part of the rules say that you must send your zone. Now he sends a question mark. He needs RFD to repeat something. R means Roger, which means he got what he missed the first time. And TNX is short for thanks. Then he repeats himself and says T-U. That also means thank you. Notice that he's sending the letters D-E before his call sign. That's short for this is, and it means the same in every language. Now I'll show you some good DX. DX means long distance. Watch what happens when I tune in this station from Caraco, and everybody wants to work him. With all the extra stations on the air, and the signal slowly fading in and out, my copy isn't solid, but as they repeat themselves, I manage to get all the call signs. Here's Hawaii. K2YY is in New Jersey. And here's a ham in North Carolina. PJ2T is racking up the contacts fast.
In my recordings, the tone of the senders all sound the same, even though they're actually different stations. That's because I have to tune them in until the frequency of their tone matches the internal oscillator in my decoder. I turn the knob on my receiver until the blue LED on my board starts blinking with the code. Here's Kilowatt 6 Lima Lima in Yuma, Arizona. And KE4KY in Fisherville, Kentucky. Here's an example of QSB. QSB means that the signal is fading in and out. Watch as we miss characters when the signal strength goes low and then starts copying again when it comes back up. This is WW4LL in Sharpsburg, Georgia. Now in this next clip, watch as N1XX in Dallas, Texas makes a contact with UA0KGB, a ham in Russia. These radio amateurs are thousands of miles apart, but my pet Arduino is able to decode both of them. I didn't do any transmitting during this contest. I just wanted to see what I could do with my decoder. I was hoping I could copy at least one hand in all 50 states and as many foreign countries as possible. Here's where I'm located, way up here in the Pacific Northwest. I'm only four miles from the Canadian border. So here's how I did from my little corner of the world. The top four states were California with 19 stations, Texas with 15, Colorado with nine, and Arizona, seven stations. I copied six each from Washington, Illinois, and Pennsylvania, five from Connecticut, Indiana, Iowa, Minnesota, New Hampshire, and Virginia all yielded four. I successfully decoded three stations each from these seven states. Another 11 states yielded two stations each. I was only able to copy one ham each from these last six states. I picked up six from British Columbia, five from Ontario, and two from Alberta. I pulled out another one from Puerto Rico. And I copied 27 stations in 15 foreign countries other than Canada. All total, that's 183 stations, all printed on my tiny little blue screen. The radio I'm using is an ICOM 735 connected to a 102 foot long G5RV wire antenna 20 feet off the ground. Check out my YouTube channel for more videos about this project. And for now, 73s. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.